Hey everybody, hope you're doing great. I've really gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking what gear I'm using. Let's face it, no one's asked me, but I thought I'd make this just because. So let's go through uh, my camera bag and what Hannah and I used to vlog. So glad you could join me. Welcome to 2018. As you can tell, I'm ripping my Uncharted gear. This is my Christmas gift from Hannah. So check out our shop local video in case you're interested where I got this. It's super warm, super comfy, and I'm glad I finally got it. It was like sitting on a tree forever, and now I can finally wear it. Um, also, if you haven't recognized, this is the spot where Hannah and I were sitting for our last uh, mini movie or a little episode of Alexa Goes Wrong where Alexa was kind of a rude house guest and it was a fun video to make and uh, all this gear that I'm going to show you now is what we kind of use for that video. Actually, let's give Alexa a little shout out. Don't be rude, Alexa. You just interrupted me. Alexa, turn off the lights. Get up and do it yourself, lazy. Ah, uh, well, I guess she still has a lot to learn, so. <laughs> All right, first off, the very most important thing you have to have in your bag is a Maggie. You always gotta have a Maggie in your bag because she makes everybody happier and she's the essential kit that I go to. She's my first go-to, so you gotta have a Maggie. So if anyone don't have a Maggie, then get one. Let's start off with just the bag in general. Uh, I invested in a pretty nice bag. It's the in case bag and I like it it's just because it has a top part for my camera to come out so I can grab it real quick and then it has space for a laptop and then some notepads some pens and then a pretty nice top bag for like on the go I throw my wallet and cell phone and stuff in if I'm traveling um, I don't I guess I have a notebook in the very front and it's got some side pack pockets and stuff like that don't use it too much. This is too small for a water bottle, but whatever. And then the other part that I like about it is the back is super comfortable. I mean, really this bag has saved my back because the straps are soft. And um, the other thing I like is the security reason is because it has, instead of opening from the front, it opens from the back. And then you have all your gear in here. As a beginner, again, I just didn't want to make too much of an investment. So I went with some older used stuff but it works great. This is my first camera that I got. It's a Canon 60D, so it's a few years old, probably seven or eight year old model camera, but um, I got it for a good deal, and it came with this, this Tamron 17 to 50 lens. It's not image stabilized, it's the older model as well. So it's older, it's not as sharp as I'd like. I think actually, if you can hear this, I think this front element is loose and dust has gotten into it, but again, I got it all used for a pretty good price off eBay. And the big essential thing that I like about this is the flip out screen, obviously. I use it all the time for B-roll, high and low, uh, for, for composition and stuff. So the 6DD, I know it's a good go-to if you're going for an, you know, a used camera to save some money. So that's what I've used so far. I also got a 24 millimeter pancake lens from Canon. I got it because I thought I would use it a lot and I just throw it on the 60D, throw the camera over my shoulder and go on walks and take pictures and I really haven't used it as much as I thought I would. Obviously, you gotta have the Nifty 50. This is super sharp for the price and I've really enjoyed it. This is what I cut my teeth on. I originally learned on a, a Rebel Canon T3 or T4i with a 50 millimeter and for the whole first year that's what I had for my job and I just used a 50 millimeter and a Rebel T4i. So this is a great lens to get used to. Okay one other essential thing that you always have to have in your bag is a coffee mug. Obviously mine says hubby because I married Hannah and our small group got us these awesome mugs but you know you always got to have a coffee mug in your gear bag because every person who shoots photos and does video loves coffee. 
So you always have to have a coffee mug in there. Obviously in here I have some chargers. I have a battery charger and a big battery. I have two of these for a light. I'll show you the light that I'm using. I just, again, I just bought it essentially because I knew I needed a light eventually here and there, or it's just a LED, a light that has, you put, plug a battery in the back and you, um, you turn it up, turn up the dial for brightness or, or, or not. Also in here, I have my SD card holder. I have a few SD cards in my cameras right now, so that's that. I have audio gear. You always gotta have a little audio gear. Love the H1 Zoom. Watch a lot of reviews on this, and I also grabbed um, a little microphone top for it in case I'm ever like handheld or grab, grab the lavalier just uh, to plug someone up. Also, again, like I said, I bought that 60D with that lens and this extra battery grip. So I've used this once or twice. Again, it makes it pretty heavy, um, but if you're shooting for a whole day, I can get away with three Canon batteries on the whole day. So this came with two Canon batteries and then one in the 60D and um, it works great. Uh, also in here, I have this pouch, which I haven't used it too much, but I use it when I shoot outdoors. And it's one of these little bifocal thing, or I don't know what these are called. It magnifies at times two, but it also, <laughs> arr, matey. <laughs> it magnifies your screen, but it also closes off your LED, LCD screen on the back of your camera to the light so you can check focus and stuff when you're outside. So I use it when I'm outdoors. I mean, one of the compartments I have just a bunch of cables and connections and things like that, power adapters. So that works well when you just need to grab something, it's all in one compartment. Obviously you have a handful of hard drives and filters for the lights. And this is a, a small little tool pack. So I would suggest everybody having like a small little tool pack if they ever you know, have space for it in their bag. Um, have a few more cables. So oh, this is a, a universal power adapter. This is great in case maybe you, one of your power supplies break and you can just plug this in universally. Um, here is a filter ring notched down. Got a nice Tiffin ND filter for this. It's just a variable ND filter so that whenever I shoot outside, I can keep my f-stop low. The very bottom is a speaker because it's always good to have these on set. Um, it just always brings up the mood. Also, I have some loose change. I usually keep this stuff in my pocket, um, but it's great to keep a few pennies or nickels in your, in your bag because all the things that you tie to the very bottom of your camera, um, you, can, you can thread it in like that. So that's good. Nothing in there. Oh, an extra, an extra camera strap over here and battery covers. Obviously I haven't used this area in a while. Oh, keep these in my bag. These are those little silica gels uh, that you get whenever you buy something new. And again, it just keeps moisture out of here. So I just have a few of these in my bag. And then uh, some, some caps, some body caps and lens caps, another cable. So yeah, I guess that about wraps up the bag tour. Or, or wait, um, I still have to show you uh, what we use for our vlogging setup. I'm sure you're probably interested in what I, we vlog with. And so let me show you that now. Let me see if I can switch it like this. All right, so now we have switched over to the 60D and I have the vlogging camera. One thing I haven't shown you yet is the tripod that the camera is on currently. I'll show you a little bit of the tripod. Again, I found a pretty good deal on it. I knew it'd be good to have a tripod for, for projects, something that's semi-beefy that I could take around. This is actually our vlogging setup. So it's nice we have this Jovi Ver Gorilla Pod, the small, small one, and you can take off the, the stand if you want, and then you have the camera unit. There's like a microphone here that we, uh, that we attach to it, and it's just a small little bitty microphone with a windscreen on it. It does okay on sound quality. It does better than the internal sound quality of the camera. 
but then, then again, it does capture a lot of the ambient sound. So I find that the noise floor is pretty high. It doesn't do as much directional as I want. It's, uh, when we got this set up, we wanted number one small because we knew Hannah would not use it if it was a large, big, beefy uh, DSLR. So we went with the Canon M3. It's an older, another, again, older generation model. We found a good deal on the combo of the lens and the camera body. So one of the things we wanted was small and compact. We wanted this flip up screen so we could see ourselves when we're vlogging. We wanted good audio, semi good audio. So we have this, this uh, microphone. Again, we could mount, could have mounted a microphone on this hot shoe, uh, you know, got a, a micro road, a road micro. Uh, but then again, that would get in the way of our, our screen here. And so um, also one of the things that I wanted to do was have a, I wanted to dive into the mirrorless realm because I heard so much about it because it's lightweight, small, compact, and I wanted one that had a detachable lens. So that's why um, I w we went with this model because I can put different lenses on here. So far we only have one and I think it really works great for our setup. You know, we can put it at the 15 millimeter uh, focal length for vlogging, you know, for just reaching out our, our hand. And then it can zoom in to 45. Say I don't want to bring my big bulky DSLR camera. I can just take this and we'll, I know that will vlog. And then I can also get B-roll because I wanted a, a detachable lens that I could pull focus and I could shoot B-roll with. So if you're interested in seeing the difference, if go back and watch our um, Global Farms video and all that B-roll is shot on the Canon 60D. And then our most recent uh, adventure was to the Opryland Mills Mall in Nashville. And again, all we did was just bring this simple camera and I shot, we shot all the vlog footage and B-roll on this just because I wanted something simple, quick, easy, I didn't want to lug around two cameras. You know, I just wanted to have a, a good, enjoyable time with Hannah. The one drawback, obviously, of this is because this lens is, uh, it's not the most expensive lens, so it doesn't go very low into the 1.8 or the 1.2 f-stop. I think it's like 3.5 to 5.8 or something like that. So it's a little bit higher, so you won't get as good a depth of field as you would with the 60D and the 2.8 uh, camera on lens. But again, if you're running and gunning and you, just don't, you don't want to carry a big system, that's why I went with this. It'd be small, Hannah could grab it anytime, set it up, know how to do it, put it on auto if she wants to, and then I can grab it and put it on manual and do B-roll and focus pulling and all that kind of stuff. So it's cool because it has a flip up screen, it has peaking for, um, for focus pulling, it's smaller, it's a mirrorless system, so it's lightweight. And I've actually really been impressed. Again, the 60D that I have is, you know, a seven or eight year old technology. This is maybe three or four year old technology, but it still does well. I think the sensor in it is great. I think it's just as good, if not better than the 60D. The photos are good on it as well. And um, so I've really been happy because it shoots 1080p just like the 60D. All right, well, um, my card just died on my 60D, so it's full, and instead of uh, changing cards in that, I'm just gonna be lazy, and I'm gonna finish this episode vlogging, just like we always do. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. And that's it for this one, so we'll see you next time. Bye.